Hi there. In this quick video, we will be taking a look at this My Project Radiator Temperature Controller. And some of my subscribers might think, hmm, wait a second, this looks familiar. Well, yes, it does. Since about, I think it's almost two years at this point, for sure it must be more than one year, I have a bunch of them from Lidl and they are Silvercrest brand. This my project from Kaufland. But by looking at it, I'm 99% sure it's the same thing, just with minor uh, design uh, changes. So I wanted to see that. And uh, yes, I will link uh, the video for the Silvercrest ones in the description because I play around with the menu a little bit, but I never use them uh, programmable. They can be programmed to have different temperature for uh, different uh, days and hours and stuff like that. I use them on manual mode because they are really good at keeping an exact temperature. The mechanical ones uh, with wax inside of a capsule that uh, expands and contracts depending on temperature are not precise at all. These things really precise and they have an anti-lock fe feature where in the summer they activate from time to time and do a full run from min to max to make sure your radiator, uh, uh, I don't know, not faucet, something like that <laughs> on the same terms, uh, does not get blocked by not being uh, pushed at all. So they do that anti-lock feature, which is awesome. They also sense when you open the window, so they see a really quick dip in temperature, eh? and they know, hey, it's all open window, do not react instantly to that. Only after you close the window, they will start to react. So it's really, really cool and really smart. And I bought a bunch of them because why not have some diversity and install them on the other radiators in the house. If you want to see more info on it, anti-frost function, holiday, child safety lock. Yes, all hours are on child safety lock because uh, yeah, small children in the house. Uh, where's some English? No English? Okay, sorry guys, no English. Let me try and translate as good as I can. So we have, uh, they are ready to use. It has pre-installed programs, okay. Save up to 30% of uh, heating cost, depends on what you set as the temperature. Easy install, yep, it is easy. Uh, frost protection, uh, Location and safety lock. Nine heating times uh, during the day. Yep. You can set from Monday to Friday and uh, from Monday to Saturday on Monday to uh, Sunday, depending on what you need. Yeah. Comfortable temperature and uh, adjust adjustable savings, whatever. Uh, open window recognition. Yep. Okay, auto adjusting of uh, summer and winter. I think that's for the time. Sorry about that, interrupted by my wife. So that's winter and summer time. Boost and offset fun function. Okay, not sure what that is. And uh, yeah, keep the packaging. Yeah, we never keep the packaging. Let's open this thing. Although, as you can see here, hmm, hope no nobody played around with, uh, with this unit. I don't think because if you peel it and try to put it back, it actually, yeah, you kind of see it. So I don't think anybody played around. Maybe they got bumped in transport. Anyway, but again, this is not a full video. The full video, even with Tronic batteries, the ones from Lidl. So yeah, it's the same thing. It's clearly the same thing. And my camera wasn't out of focusing anymore, so I needed to restart. Yes, batteries from Lidl, so it's clear. I'm, I'm onto something in here. It's the same product with uh, some design changes. So again, full video will be in the description. Even this 
it's identical. I will put it right next to the other ones that I already have. Yeah, those ones don't click. Meh. I think I like the clickiness. And I also think I like this type of buttons. And this, I think it was about $2 cheaper than the one from Lidl. Or $4 cheaper. Something like that. And it's about $12. Uh, it's full price. Actually, no. My bad. It's $10 the full price. And from Lidl, it was from $12 to $14 for one. So yeah, this is cheaper. Let's see how do we put the battery in. This is... Uh, Okay, to put the battery in. Quite simple, but I think I will put the battery in after I install it. Uh, so let's see. Let's go somewhere where I need to install uh, this thing. And you have adapters for different uh, uh, sizes uh, of radiator heads. From ours, as much as I can remember, we have the default one. So uh, that's kind of awesome. But again, this is not a full video, this is just me seeing a product and thinking, wait a second, I saw that another time. And yep, it seems uh, I was right. So that's quite cool, at least I saved a few bucks. <laughs> so, uh, these uh, are the two variants, the one that I already have which is in child protection mode. You set that by pressing time and menu at the same time. So it does nothing. No clickiness. Clickiness and as you can see, minor differences, just buttons themselves. This seems to be wider, but I hope the diameter is still the same and it's still uh, M30 like this one, because otherwise I will have an issue and I will get annoyed. It seems to be narrower in diameter, but I hope Hope, I really do hope I'm wrong. We'll see. So let me go and install this somewhere. So it's just a matter of coming uh, into the room where you want to install it, bedroom in this case. I'm doing the original one. This is kind of slow to move. It kind of gets stuck. Ah, okay, you need to go to the highest because then it retracts the most to allow the water to actually go and then you can do it. You can see here when it's pushed it blocks water, when it comes out it allows water to... <clears throat> it allows water to move. Really professional of me just bumping into this. <sighs> Am I lucky? Whew. This was lucky. So they did change this a tiny bit, but it seems it's still uh, the one that we have uh, in the house. That would have been uh, a problem and would have thrown a wrench in this whole uh, situation. Yes, you kind of go a bit like this and then rotate everything un until it's fully tightened and into the correct position and now insert the batteries. Let's see how I can do this. Now I removed the cover. Here it is. And uh, let me try and film from un the underside. Just as, an, just as an idea, the ones that we already have, we never changed the battery in them for, I don't know, two years or something like that, since we got them. So they are really uh, friendly on batteries. Making sounds. and blocked. Now let's get up and look at the display, what it says. Waiting for an adjustment probably. Let's see. Ah no, from here. Is this day or date? Uh, or month? 11, okay. Day, I think it's 8. Okay. Time, 
let me look at my phone so I'll be back in a second so it's 17 0 2 and I think now it will do the adaptation by itself you just let it do its thing it will search for uh, the full travel of this it wants to see where the end is basically it's pushing uh, that all the way in and that's all the noise that it will ever make that's the maximum amount of noise And it's done. And it's in auto mode, something with summer, but I think I want manual mode. So I'm in manual mode. Not really sure what's up with the summer. Oh no, that's the day temperature, that's the night temperature. Sorry about that. But me being in manual mode doesn't really matter. I will set it to something like this and then press menu and it's adjusting to the temperature that I set this is a bit tricky to enter the child protection mode or is it not the same as the other one? that would be annoying because I will need to keep track of two modes to enter child protection yeah, could be different from the other one I did not find anything in the manual, but I tried again and I need to hold them longer on this model. On the other one you just touch them, but you need to touch them at the same time. But on this... So yeah, and it uh, seems to have a boost function where you click, uh, quickly press this and it will heat up for 15 minutes to the max. This is boost function. The other one does not seem to have this one. So, okay, I guess. And it will uh, have uh, a timer, basically start and, uh, and it will go down to zero. You see it here. From 900 to zero. Which is quite cool. And when it reaches zero, it will set back the original temperature. Nice. And I think you can cancel this also. Yeah, and it goes back to original. So when I need to heat up something really quick, I will just go and press OK. The other one does not have this function, or at least I cannot start it. So this is really cool. So yeah, overall, I like what I see. The day is set uh, when you set the initial date and whatever. This is the battery, which is obviously full. And yes, for me, in manual mode all the time, I don't care about uh, other things uh, with hours and stuff. I don't like to heat up, hit the, let cool down, heat up, let it cool down. I just keep it, but not at this. It, that's too much, obviously. Even this is kind of too much, but hey, we are trying, we are trying to go down more and more. Let's take a quick look at uh, warnings and manuals. Sorry but no English this time. This is basically to uh, protect yourself and the children from batteries. Yep, all kind of warnings these days need to be put. Instructions in Romanian. Luckily there's big writing in here, so feel free to pause at any time. The, the thread is uh, M30 by 1.5. So that's uh, kind of standard for radiators from what I've seen. And a few different languages. Feel free again to pause wherever you kind of need. In theory, hopefully all is readable. Here's uh, some German. Quite good products, honestly. 
And I'm quite sure they are uh, about the same thing that I already have. But with a bit of a different design, maybe a different generation, but still good in my opinion. Okay, so that's about it for this video. I'm going to go and install the remaining uh, ones. And yeah, all I can say, I like them and I hope they last a long time. And uh, I see no reason why we, they wouldn't. So, if you have any questions over the years, feel free to ask in the comments. And as always, see you in the next one. Bye.